Carol Walker by Chloe Devereaux. Carol Walker is an artist who specializes in installation, painting, and silhouette work. Kara's art often explores themes of race and sexuality. She is known for her silhouettes that are made from black paper adhered to walls. Paper is typically black while it is on a black wall and on occasion she has made silhouettes of white paper on black walls. Her silhouettes are the size of walls, if not sometimes the size of an entire room. This piece is called Gone. At center there is an island and at left there is a couple about to kiss with a child at the water's edge. Walker has said that to distinguish from race and the subjects of her silhouettes, she uses exaggerated profiles. The man has a sword behind his back pointed at the behind of a slave boy who is strangling a duck at the water's edge. The titles of Kara's pieces are usually very long, and the full title this, of this piece is Gone, an historical romance of the Civil War as it occurred between the dusky thighs of one young negress and her heart. Below the woman's skirt, there are her legs and the legs of an animal. This leads us to a very devious and devilish feel. We know that there is something not right here. And it's very unsettling to see the extra set of legs. At center, there's a small island with two children on it engaged in a sex act. The child kneeling is a young slave girl, and standing is a young white boy who is perhaps the son of the master. The image is very unsettling to see on screen, but I've seen this piece in person and it's even more unsettling to see in front of you. At right, there's a white man with a tailcoat on and he is holding a slave woman uh, in the air and she's holding a broom. It looks like he's just picked her up because it appears to be that she's spit out something or something's been knocked from her throat. This last piece is called Slaughtered Innocence and in it we see a lot of very disturbing images. There's a white man reaching for a scurrying black child. There's a slave baby being cut in half by a white woman in a skirt and the baby's blood is falling on their mother. And just off center, we see a woman with pigtail braids and a hat with a hole in her stomach with her hands touching the hole. Beside her, there is an older woman with it appears to be a headscarf on, and she's holding a child. The baby's limbs, as you can see in the silhouette, are hanging down. His hands, arms, and feet and legs are limp. And from this we can imply that the baby has died. Um, even though we can't see the expression on the woman's face from her mouth. We can see that she is just heartbroken over this. And Walker has been quoted with saying that slavery is a nightmare from which no American has yet awakened. And her work that shows the brutality of American slavery, although intriguing, um, it's very unsettling and it's her way of really trying to help people awaken from this nightmare that was American slavery 
and see the realities of it.